Hello, so it is the bronze medal match day, Spain versus Germany. As of right now, I have currently no streaming service to actually watch the game, so this may just be another video of me reading the live commentaries. Apologies in advance if that is to be the case. Hey, it's better than nothing, okay? At least you'll still kind of see my reaction. Anyway, we have some news. We have some bad news for Spain's team. Uh, and then some good news for Germany's team because Germany have Alexandra Pop back as well as Leah Schuller. And then here is Spain starting 11 for the bronze medal match. As you can see, Alexia and Jenny both starting today. We haven't seen that link up in quite some time. I guess it's better late than never, but uh, I feel like they would have got a bit further if they kind of done that from the start. But hey ho. And then we'll move on to Germany's, as you can see, and Katrin Berger, expecting a big performance from her once again. And as I said, Pop is back as well. Uh, they haven't listed the bench, but I'd assume that uh, Leah Schuller is also on the bench. But uh, I don't really know as of right now. I did it. I found a stream. I don't know if this stream like fully works, but um, it's working for now. And I'm going to take advantage of it. We're 10 minutes in. This stream is quite laggy. Um, I'm not complaining though, frankly, but in the 10 minutes that I've seen, Germany look better. Oh dear, good catch by Kata, but um, they look slightly better. They're more attacking than uh, Spain have been in the opening 10 minutes at least. This is bad for Spain. That's a good save by Kata. Yeah, so this is what I'm currently dealing with. I mean, the match is fine um, when there isn't this in front of my face. Oh, a kid's back. Ball in. Oh, no. The Spain players are never the tall ones when they're in the box. Why is that? Oh, Salma, she somewhat sh you need to take a shot. Like, why do you buffer now? Why? She could have scored. Why? You refreshed the. Oh, no, I'm. I, no. No. Why do you. No. So they're currently all taking a calling break, but uh, my reaction from before meant nothing because they didn't score. Spain and Germany are still 0 uh, 0. Even after that crazy chance that Spain really should have scored. Okay, so calling break is done. And you know that, like, chance that Salma had that I was kind of freaking out about possibly uh, missing? Yeah, apparently she was offside anyway, so it wouldn't even have counted even if she had scored. So, there's that. Oh, no. That's poor. That is so poor from Spain. I mean, Germany didn't score, but that was genuinely terrifying. Salma's off, though. She's off. She could score from this. She probably isn't going to score. She's not going to score from that, is she? Spain are on the attack. Ona. Someone. Aitana. She shoots. Oh, it's on first off the ball. Jenny. She scored. No, I thought that was a goal. She missed it. Oh, my days. Oh, I thought she scores. It went off the bar. It went to Jenny. I thought that was a goal. It didn't even go. Into ah. Jenny Shaw had a deflection, but honestly, I thought that went in. Ah, <laughs> oh, corner for Spain. Can they score this? We have a minute and a bit till half time. Will they score from this? Will they get a goal before we go into the break? That corner is not going to equate to a goal, though. Germany ball in. I'm terrified of Germany, Germany's, like, free kicks. <laughs> Why are they actually so quite good at, like, set pieces? Well, there was a foul, and now Germany have another free kick. I feel like I've seen a lot of free kicks with Germany already in the opening half. Okay, so I migrated downstairs. I'm still going to be watching the game, but um, I'm only watching it on a phone instead of my MacBook upstairs because it doesn't buffer for some reason if I watch it on phone, so there's that. Now look at this. Germany's on the attack, but look, no buffering, no issues. And they are, oh, take a shot. I was so close, it was just wide of the post. My god. Well then, there's a penalty for Germany. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say about this. Germany penalty. Did she score? And she did score. That's 1 0 Germany. She sent Kata the other way as well. That was a very good penalty. Oh, oh my days. That wasn't a good penalty from Alexia. That's going to be it. That's actually heartbreaking. Oh, my. You can't actually... This is, like... This is the drama that comes with football. And you either love it or hate it. And, uh... 
it's not so great for Spain, is it? That's it for Spain. They come fourth in their first Olympic. Again, that's a very, very good achievement. They only just missed out on a medal. It's still a very good achievement considering it's their very first Olympics. And also, I may just add, right, the entire format of this tournament is rather strange. And frankly, for the player's health, it's rather unsafe. So when you put that all into mind, it doesn't help. Like, first Olympics, they're not used to it. It's a lot to take in. To be fair, Spain didn't really play their best again against Germany. Germany probably played better. They probably were the better team. Congratulations, Anne Katrin Berger, for saving the penalty. Um, yeah, Spain weren't good again today. I mean, they were fine, but they weren't up to their, I guess, normal standards, if you will. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like it. Comment in the comment section down below what you guys thought of Spain's performance in their very first Olympics. Race it out of 10. Also, what you guys thought of their performance in this game specifically against Germany. Out of 10, I would personally rate Spain's first Olympics as a success, kind of. I would give it 6.5 out of 10, I think. Subscribe if you're not already. And hopefully, I'll see you very soon with a brand new video.